What's up all my masters ninjas, Jeremy Garino here. This is the Build a Machine Fitness video for our National Ninja League Season 6 Regional Qualifier. While I get you guys started, enjoy some views of Buffalo and our gym and what it used to look like before our improvements. First and foremost, athletes will compete on an obstacle course of 10 to 20 obstacles. Each athlete will have one attempt to complete as many obstacles as possible in the allotted time. Athletes will be ranked based on completing the most obstacles in the least time. There are prizes for the top three male and top three female finishers in each division. So, we do have additional COVID-19 safety protocols. We will be adhering to all the CDC, New York State, and Erie County mandates for COVID-19. Please stay home if you have a fever of 100 or higher or have exhibited any symptoms of COVID-19 in the last two weeks. Masks will be worn by all in the facility at all times except for the athlete running the course. That athlete will need to put their mask back on once they exit the course. We will be practicing social distancing and entering the facility you will undergo a touchless temperature screening. The number of competitors for each division is limited. Only one spectator will be permitted per competitor to reduce the number of patrons in our facility. Competitors and spectators will only be permitted in the facility during that competitor's wave time. We love our community and we will miss the usual large gatherings that we have with the competition, but your health and your safety is more important to us during this pandemic. Athletes will wash their hands immediately before their run. Obstacles on the course will be sanitized between waves. Only liquid chalk will be permitted and competitors must bring their own chalk. Okay, now that we got into those details, let's get into our master's course. Your time limit will be three minutes. All right, so we have Liz on the starting platform and she'll be using those devil steps and not kicking the orange mat, dismounting to that first box and the second box is the clear. So walking the red pipe or the devil's pipe across and then starting cannonball alley. So you guys can see your starting and dismount platforms there. This one is going to be from the vault box to one of the foam quad steps. These cannonball grips may vary a little bit so that we can keep them fresh for everyone. Um, but everybody will have the same balls and the same chance. Being careful not to slide off the quad steps in Sonic Alley. And now we have Slacker's win. So the hands and feet will be allowed on the slack line itself. We will not be allowed to use the majority of the poles that are within that area. The poles that you are allowed to use will be designated with red tape, which you can see slightly uh, in this angle. Be very careful not to lean up against the poles or anything like that because we will consider that um, you know, aiding you. And then using this horizontal bar to make it to your landing platform, which is this orange box. And now we're starting Mario's work wall. We're just gonna use those, uh, those octagons only to make it to the top of the warp wall. That is a touch point. So the next platform you have to make it to, Liz is standing on now. And you see that she steps out onto the, uh, onto the diamond there to get the bar. We gotta get over and into the wall. So you can't use your feet on these pads or anything. So you decide how you're gonna use it, but then up and over this orange pad. There will be an elevated platform on the floor right there as a dismount. So she's starting on the blue cheese wedge. And now we're gonna tackle Angel's Islands. This obstacle is a uh, linked obstacle. So she's clear as soon as she touches the yellow railing in between the white tape. And then hands only on this portion 
this railing is now marked with red tape on the top so you know where you cannot touch. Here we have Temple Run. It's legs and feet only. Just going from the blue cheese wedge to the trampoline. And the final obstacle, hang it up. Does a great job here, grabbing onto the bungee. Keeping those feet up. Ultimately, she will lashay, dismount, and grab that buzzer. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.